Hello everybody, welcome back to another recipe video. You know what I'm going to be making today? Okay, I'm going to be making Japanese style toast five different ways. Japanese style toast? Yeah, and you know oh. where I got the idea from? I got the idea from your wasabi video when oh. you put the wasabi on the toast mm -hmm. and I thought, wait a minute, I can think of more ideas than that. And so that's what we're making today. I'm really, really looking forward to try those toast. As always, I'm using minimal ingredients and anybody can make these toasts. And believe me, I've tried these. These are really delicious. So, you ready? Yeah. Let's get started. Alright, first things first, these are the ingredients. Actually, we're going to take it one by one. So, the first to toast we're going to be making is mentaiko mayo toast. And if you guys are a fan of Japanese cuisine, you know that uh, you've probably heard of mentaiko mayo before. We use it on uh, baked potatoes. We use it on a lot of things here in Japan. But today, we're going to make a toast version of it. So, these are the ingredients. First, we have a slice of white bread. You can use any kind of bread you want, whole wheat whole grain, whatever, but um, we're using white bread today. And this is mentaiko. Mentaiko is uh, spiced fish eggs. Uh, these are uh, pollock roll, and this is a Hakata specialty. You can find it in your Japanese grocery. And then we have some Japanese mayonnaise. This is Kewpie mayonnaise. And we have some nori. And this is nori that's been cut up into like uh, slivers, like this, nori strips. Yeah, no strips. A little bit of the mentaiko. Put it in here with uh, some of the Japanese mayo that we have here. About equal amounts. And then we're gonna mix this up like this. So we're making a mentaiko mayo mixture. And this is great on crackers, on baked potatoes. Um, these are really, really good. Okay. And once you have this mixture right here, this is the mentaiko mayo mixture. And we're gonna spread it on your slice of bread. So we're gonna use this whole thing. So once again, equal amounts of mentaiko and mayonnaise. And just spread it on your bread like this. Mm, can you smell the mentaiko? It smells so good. I don't know if you guys ever had mentaiko before, but give it a try. It does have a little bit of kick because once again, it is a uh, fish eggs that's been kind of marinated in uh, some chili. There, that's a perfect amount. I think that's, that was about maybe a tablespoon of each ingredient. Okay, and then we're gonna toast this in the toaster or under the grill. All right, so we're gonna place it on our little grill. All Japanese houses have these grills here built into their kitchen units. Check this out. This is like a perfectly toasted mentaiko mayo bread. Now we are going to decorate this just a little bit with some of this nori seaweed. Like that, just put it on top. And that's it guys. This is your mentaiko mayonnaise toast. Very Japanese, very delicious. The next one is a nori tsukudani toast. So for this, we need, of course, your slice of bread. We need some nori no tsukudani. This is the one we're using. It comes in a jar like this. And it looks like this. It's, I like to call it the Japanese Vegemite. Although I do think it's not as uh, challenging as Vegemite. But maybe that's because I'm Japanese. And then we have a slice of cheese here. And we have some butter that we're going to be spreading on the bread. And that's all you need. So first things first, we are going to uh, spread some butter on the bread. So we got some butter here. Uh, we only use 100% butter in this household. But um, yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to use margarine, that's okay. That's okay. Some people like margarine, but we like butter here. This is uh, butter from Hokkaido, and it's really delicious, by the way. This is what it looks like. It's a uh, it's a Yotsuba butter from Hokkaido, made with 100% milk from Hokkaido. Really great on bread. You can see that picture of the bread because it really is good on toast. And then on top of that, we're going to be spreading this uh, tsukudani. This is the nori no tsukudani. Just a thin layer. You don't want too much because it is quite salty. So you just want to 
kind of nice thin layer. So you just kind of want it to evenly spread it out like this. Okay. Looks so, like Vegemite. It does look like Vegemite, doesn't it? Butter and the black one. <laughs> right. Okay, we're gonna save the rest for later. Once you open it up, you do have to put it in the refrigerator. So put it in your refrigerator afterwards. Now I'm gonna do something fancy with my cheese today. I'm thinking, Satoshi is probably thinking, what are you doing? But I'm very curious. Right? So I'm just, just getting fancy with my cheese. What the? I thought you will put the sheet of cheese on top of the bread or mm. nori. Right? Well, actually you can. Actually, the easier way, this is the way I recommend you guys to do it. Just put a slice of cheese right on top in the middle like this. That's all you have to do. But I'm getting a little bit fancy today. I'm going to decorate my sandwich today. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just making it a little prettier today. I'm making a checkerboard pattern. Oh. Once again, this is just for decoration. You don't have to do this. But I just thought I'd get a little bit fancy since you guys are all so special. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. I like getting creative with toast. It's a lot of fun for me. Mm. There we go. Oh, nice chicken pattern. Right, and then we are going to toast this under the griller for seven minutes. So this is the second one. Looks very interesting. Thank you. I'm very curious. The third, fourth, and fifth one. Mm, well, we have one savory after this one, which you love actually. Oh. Yeah, this is for you. Oh. And then the last two is for me. Well, actually, no, the last one is for you. I'll make it for you. And of course, for you guys. I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, and this is the nori no tsukudani with cheese toast. Check it out. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Doesn't that uh, look great? I haven't seen this color of toast. Right? It's so Instagram worthy, in my opinion, <laughs> I think. And believe me, it is super delicious. So I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Uh, okay, so this one, like I mentioned, this one is the toast with Satoshi's name on it. This one has your name on it, Satoshi. I don't know what does that mean. <laughs> okay, so, so we need a slice of bread, of course. Natto! Yay! This natto! Is, this is why it has your name on it, is natto. We're going to be using the packs here, you know, with the, with the, the seasoning packet. If you don't have this, you can just use soy sauce. Um, since Satoshi doesn't really like mustard, I'll just not use that. Thank you. We have some uh, nori again, the slivered nori. Mm -hmm. And we got some mayonnaise here. We need some Japanese mayonnaise. Of course, if you don't have Japanese mayonnaise, you can go ahead and use um, any kind of mayonnaise you have. Now, this is going to be a yes or no, depending on who you are, because some of you guys love natto. Um, and if you didn't know what natto is, it's uh, fermented soybeans, it's something uh, that we eat for breakfast. If you're having a Japanese breakfast, and it's super, super healthy because it has probiotics. And of course, some of you guys despise natto, <laughs> but I do recommend you give it a try this way because you won't get the, too much of the slime and you're not going to get too much of the smell prepared this way. Okay, so we're going to open up this uh, seasoning packet. It's basically a seasoned uh, soy sauce kind of sauce. And um, once again, if you don't have this, if your natto doesn't come with it, I'm not using the whole packet. I'm using like half of it. Uh, if it doesn't come with this, uh, you can just go ahead and add a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, just a little bit to give it some taste. And mix this up like so. And I know this slime bothers a lot of you guys, but this is what makes natto so delicious. There's lots of good bacteria in here. I stress that word, good, good bacteria. And here we go, this is the natto. Yes, the slime is, it's necessary. Necessary, okay. All right, here we go. So we're simply going to dump the natto onto the mm, toast. I love, 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 love natto toast. You want the whole thing on it? Yeah. Okay, we'll just put all of it on. Okay. I think that's the perfect amount for this. Mm -hmm. And get this on evenly on the toast so it looks beautiful. And you know, there are actually some cafes here in Tokyo that actually serve this at the mm. cafes. 
You didn't put any mayonnaise or、um, butter on on the bread. No, not nope. yet, not yet,、Ooh. not yet. Actually, we're going to add that right now. As you can see, it's visually more interesting this way, like so. I don't know why this mayonnaise we got has very thick, thick globs of it comes out. Usually, it's thinner. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I see. You see? It, I need, see? it needs to be visually appealing for me. I understand. Okay, and now we are going to toast this in the toaster. And when mayonnaise is toasted, it's really nice. Like the flavor really comes out. Mmm. All right. It's finished toasting Ooh, on the、wow. grill. Check it out. Okay, we got one more thing to add Ooh, to this.、Wow. Isn't it pretty?、Mm. Look at the little,、um, little bit burnt mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah, That's、yeah. what's、mm. so good about it. Then you're gonna add a little bit of nori、oh. on the top. Okay, this is gonna give just a little bit more flavor, and of course, it makes it look pretty. And here you go. This is the natto toast. Looks fabulous, right? Fabulous natto toast. <laughs> Smell it. Smell it. No, 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 no. Now we're gonna eat this later. It's time to go on to the next one. The next one is called Ogura Toast.、Uh, it's basically toast with sweetened azuki beans called Anko, some butter, and whipped cream. And this is a popular toast in Nagoya. You can find it in almost all cafes throughout the city. Of course, we need some bread. We need some Anko, which is、uh, that sweetened azuki、uh, bean paste I was talking about. This is already ready made. Of course, you can make your own, but we just buy it. It's much easier. We got some heavy cream that we're gonna whip up with some sugar. That's all you need. All right, so you don't need this much, but I'm just gonna make the whole thing because I can use the whipped cream for something else later. And we actually need some of the whipped cream、um, for the next one. So we're gonna add in some sugar. You can make it as sweet as you like, it's really up to you. And we are going to. Whip it up with a hand mixer. You can use a whisk, it's up to you. Hmm, looks perfect. Yep, I think, I think that's about done. Okay. So we got our bowl of whipped cream. As you can see, it is whipped until it's stiff, like this. Now, for this one, we do have to toast the bread before we put on. The topping because we got whipped cream, it's gonna melt in the griller. All right, so I've toasted the last two slices of bread because、uh, the last two n e e d s to be toasted before the toppings go on. So、uh, here we go. So, first thing we have to do is we are gonna butter the toast with some of that lovely Hokkaido butter. Okay, all you need is a very thin layer of butter. And if you don't like butter,、um, you can go ahead and omit it because there's other flavors that's gonna go on. But I do, I do suggest the butter. It does make it taste a little better. And then this is the、uh, azuki, the azuki paste we're using、uh, tsubuan today, which are the bumpy azuki bean paste, which are basically、um, all the beans are not smashed up. So that's what makes it、uh, bumpy. You can also go ahead and use koshian, which is a smooth anko, if you prefer that. Like, my mother prefers a smooth one. I actually like both. Like, I actually have no preference. And I think it depends on what I'm eating the anko with. Like, if I'm eating a mochi, I do prefer it to be smooth. But, like, on this toast, I think the bumpy one is better. Okay, so you can put as much. Um, anko, as you want, but I, I really think just a little bit makes it taste better. I think adding too much just overwhelms the toast. The whole thing will taste like、uh, red beans. Okay, okay, and that's it. Then we're going to add some whipped cream on the top and just, just smooth it out like this. Yep, that's all you need to do. Does that look pretty? Only if you have, and this is optional, but I also like to add a little bit of kinako powder on the top, which is a ground soybeans. But it's really up to you. This adds 
just a little bit more flavor, like a peanutty flavor. And that's it. So that was the Ogura toast. That's something that I discovered when I went to Nagoya. And once again, like I explained, they have it everywhere at all the cafes and it's really delicious, especially if you like anko. The last thing we're gonna be making is strawberry shortcake toast. And this is almost like a dessert, but of course it's perfect for breakfast. Okay, the ingredients super simple. You need a slice of toast already uh, toasted like this. You need some fresh strawberries and you need whipped cream, which we already have. Okay, so first, we need to uh, slice these uh, strawberries. So these are already washed. So just cut off the stems, like so. You wanna be using about three per sandwich. I think three should be enough. And then we're gonna slice this thinly like this. Not like too thin. There we go. That's the second one. Okay, and if you guys didn't know, we're in the middle of strawberry season. Strawberry season here in Japan is winter time. I know it's weird, but it's true. Winter time is strawberry season here in Japan. It is. Okay, so we got our piece of bread here. We got our piece of bread here. And first thing we need to do is to put some whipped cream on the toast. Yeah, see? It looks like dessert, doesn't it? So you have to cut it down before put the cream. You do actually, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. You do need to cool down the toast. If it's hot, the whipped cream is just gonna melt. Um, actually, if you want, and the reason why I toasted it is because this video is called Toast. If you want, this actually would be good even without the uh, bread being toasted. Um, so maybe, maybe, maybe that might be a better idea. But anyway, this is a toast video, so we have to toast this. So I think that's enough whipped cream. Okay, and then we're going to place the strawberries on the toast like so. Look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay. Nice aroma, that, strawberry. That's it. Look how easy that was. And this is your strawberry shortcake toast. So these are the five Japanese toasts that I made for you. Every single one, it looks so yummy. Right, and it smells really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? My favorite type. <laughs> the savory ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'd like you to try the mentaiko mayo first. Mentaiko mayo first, yeah, I know, not the one. No, please start with the mentaiko mayo because I know that you haven't eaten this kind of toast before. I want, I want, I want to see your reaction. My reaction. Yes. Dozo. Oh, you forgot to say itadakimasu. Kyo itadakimasu itte nai. How is it? Mmm. I hope it's good. Mmm. It's good. Warm mentaiko and mayonnaise. Solitiness level is perfect. Oh, good. And the fat of the mayonnaise and its spiciness mm -hmm. matches so good. Yeah, yeah, you need it. I can taste the umami of a mentaiko. Yes, here, e eat it with a little bit of the nori because that makes it even better. Right? That adds something, right? Oceanic. <laughs> Oceanic. The so next one, I'd like you to try the nori tsukudani with nori? The cheese. Not, not natto. <laughs> the natto one is the last savory one you're going to try. I hope that's good. I hope you like it. It's really mm. simple. <laughs> I can't enjoy the umami. Umami, umami, umami. Mm. The mm. cheese is umami too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I think um, adding the you can have it just the nori no tsukudani, but mm -hmm. I think the cheese adds makes it a little bit more mild. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah, because the nori no tsukudani is quite salty. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Okay. Finally, natto one. The natto. Oh my God, Justin's here. He jumped up the chair. <laughs> Natto. Natto. Mm. I hope you like it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna like this. Mm. How is it? Is it good? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right? I feel like you need the mayonnaise or else it'll just be natto on bread. Um, so the mayonnaise, I don't know, it adds something to it. You toast this, so I don't I don't taste I don't, or I don't smell or stinkiness of it. Natto. natto. 
And <laughs> actually, the mayonnaise helps uh, eliminate the smell. It takes away the smell of natto. It really does. No, strange smell. <laughs> comfortable. Very Com- comfortable. Very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's on to the sweets. This is the ogura. I know you're not a big fan of anko and toast, but give it a try. How is it? Does it taste like dessert? Does it taste like breakfast to you? I need coffee. You need coffee. <laughs> so, kind of reminds you of breakfast. Mm-hmm. The, um, the whipped cream is, of course, it's cream, so smooth, soft. Mm-hmm. And un- under the cream, there is an anko. Anko has a different texture.、Mm-hmm. It's paste, but thicker, so it's different.、Mm-hmm. And with this bread, sakutto flavor, sakutto texture. <laughs> sakutto texture.、Mm-hmm. Okay, well, okay, and then finally we have the strawberry shortcake、uh, toast. This is beautiful. I had no idea. Strawberry shortcake style toast. Well, you know, I, I do have to say it's more like a strawberry shortcake if you don't toast it. It's better with white bread,、mm-hmm. but because this is a toast video, I toasted it. So I'm hoping it still tastes good with the bread being toasted. Hmm. Is、mm. it good? Oh, good. Okay.、Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. Strawberry really goes well on bread, especially with whipped cream. It's, it's almost like a cake, especially if you use the fluffy bread.、Mm. Once again, maybe try it not toasted. Nothing is disturbing this strawberry flavor. Really?、Mm. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? Favorite? Yeah. Except not to. Well, I mean, I mean, if that's your favorite, you can say that's your favorite, but it's really up to you. Which one was your favorite? The mentaiko mayonnaise one. The mentaiko mayonnaise, really? Really? Why? The saltiness level、mm-hmm. is good and it's perfectly smeared on this bread. Okay, thank you. And blended with this mayonnaise and the mentaiko. So nice. Okay. e n j o y the umami series. Now, I'm just a little bit curious. What's your second favorite? Natto. The natto, really? <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really, really hope you guys try these recipes out,、um, especially if you like toast and you want to try something different. I hope you like it. And as always, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on the next delicious recipe. Bye. Bye bye.